So people men are here coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be looking at uh, Vanita Eaton five piece espresso dining set. Uh, I already unboxed the box, unbox the box. And uh, these are all the items uh, that are here. Uh, this is the dining table legs and they do include them separately and they're nicely packaged. That's the legs for the chairs. Uh, there's the bottom cushion part of the chair. Uh, this is a stand and that's a piece of resistance uh, the entire table at the back and it does come with an assembly uh, manual and it also has something very unique that all the hardware is individually marked uh, because when the box is being opened up there is a lot of uh, stuff in it so they put plastic little uh, markings like those and that actually is connected to the hardware let me show you how that is it's right here it says hardware and the dang thing is connected it's pretty smart i will say this this is pretty smart this is very unique uh, i've only seen this in home people i can say i'm not seeing this in uh, ikea so whatever it is uh, you know it's definitely worth it and also future of america uh, assembly instructions although i will point out that this uh, set is made in taiwan and it's shipped to us i picked it up from the store because i told the store to send it and i'm not going to be uh, showing you how to uh, put together every single chair i'll only show you how to put one, basically you have to use the same steps to put all the other chairs. So here we go. So here we go, I got the instruction manual right here. I'm gonna be opening it up. Um, and they do take careful uh, consideration of the weather elements and they do pack it uh, in a plastic bag. And let's take that out. And as you can see, uh, it says do not tighten screws until each step is complete. So. And it's on a difficulty scale, they're saying it's recommending two people. I think the only reason why they're recommending two people is because uh, of the entire table uh, set. That's pretty heavy and uh, that's why. So, here we go. The instructions are in English, so that is promising. And uh, disclaimer, failure to follow this instruction may result in injury and or property damage. It does not say death. So I guess it's not gonna kill you, but I don't want to take the risk. And all the hardware uh, that you need on how to assemble it, uh, that all is included. It does come with everything that you need uh, right here. So they have the Allen key, the bolt, the wrench, uh, the description of the table and everything else. And they also have uh, the chair option. And similar to the, the thing before, uh, they do have everything included. So the IKEA Fixer Toolbox, Unboxing that I did, uh, the wrench and the screwdriver that I got. Fortunately, in this case, that is not going to be needed. So let's get started. Step one, I'm going to open up uh, this box. And please be extremely careful when you're using any uh, sharp tools or objects to cut them. Uh, me, personally, I'm going to be using uh, my Stanley knife or, uh, you know, the box cutter thing. And be extremely careful when you're cutting it. Do not cut in too deep because you don't want to damage any wood. All right, right off the back, I will say this. Uh, packing, phenomenal job on the packing. Both the chairs, while they were looking like they were in a single container, they were individually packed in plastic from top to bottom. So packing-wise, great job. Uh, I highly doubt that any of this item is gonna have any scratches on it. So good job, Home Depot. All right, moving right along, the legs of the chair are included in the secondary box. And uh, those are for all four chairs, so you'll have uh, two chairs or two legs uh, that are already going to be there and fortunately all the holes and everything else is pre drilled so you don't even need any power tools so that is definitely amazing. Second thing, uh, all the chairs do have the bottom plastic thing so the carpet or if you have tiles or if you have hardwood that could, does not get damaged and that's pre-attached. I don't even have to use a hammer to hammer them in and they're centrally done. Uh, it's done on this one, it's also done on the other one. So uh, they are basically saving a lot of time for you. Uh, also, if you look at uh, the seat cover, on the back of the seat cover is gonna have all the uh, packing items and the bags are carefully labeled. So if you, you can see A, B, C, D and the corresponding alphabets are gonna be on your instruction manual also. So uh, that is definitely smart on their part. All right, people, quick update. These are A, B and C. The A ones, which are the biggest or the longest bolt, those are the ones that are going to be going in the back of the chair. Uh, the medium one or the mid ones, these are the ones that are going to get attached to the front, uh, like right here. And the C, which is the smallest one, these are only two, they are going to be connected over here. So C will go right here 
which is uh, right here. Uh, the A's, which are the long threaded ones. Uh, that's how you can tell them. They have a little bit of a lip in front. Let me see if I can focus this in. There you go. Uh, the one that had a little bit of a thread, they will be going right here on in the chair. Uh, and you do have to put washer. So this was a tricky part. Uh, again, the C's over there, uh, the B's, which are the middle ones, they're in the front, and the heavy duty ones that are going to be taking most of the load on the back. All right, really quick, the assembly is going to be, uh, the nut is going to be on top, followed by the split washer, followed by the big washer on the end. That's going to be retaining everything. So, uh, and this is going to be followed on all three of them, or actually, oh yeah, all three screws uh, that are here. So, uh, I'm going to get these uh, started. I'm going to start screwing around, if you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, now we are uh, starting the thing. And uh, what I did so far was, I connected these uh, loosely, basically, as you can see, they're hand tightened only. And I connected uh, the middle ones, which are the C and uh, the smallest one, basically, over here, and got them positioned. So, got them positioned, got them uh, screwed just hand tight only. You don't want to do the final thing uh, just yet, just to see if they can actually screw right in. And once that is done, uh, then we can take the Allen key to them. So, and fortunately, they do provide it. So, good job, Home Depot. All right, the back thing is done. It's secure. Now we're moving on to the front part. Now, pro tip, uh, rather than trying to fight the screw and bolts and the uh, nuts and everything else or by doing this, going up and uh, doing it that way, it's a better idea to lay it down flat and then do one leg at a time because that way the washers are going to be fight, uh, going with the gravity and they're going to be slipping right through. That way you are not uh, trying to, you know, push them in in an awkward manner. So I'm going to put this one and I'm going to put this uh, other leg. Once that's done, we're going to move on to the table. So hang on. All right, quick update. The IKEA uh, fixer toolbox uh, that I unboxed before, I'll leave the description link in the description below, did had a Allen key option. So rather than uh, twisting this thing and saying, okay, connect, reconnect, connect, reconnect, all I had to do was fix it in and just rotate. And this made it so much easier. I cannot. I can't believe I was not using this before. Uh, it actually literally got my, uh, you know, fixing time in half. So definitely will recommend it. So if you don't have it, pick it up. And if you have a power drill, I will recommend not to use it because you don't want to over tighten the item either, you know. And yay, first chair is done. Uh, this, I'll say on a scale of one to 10, like three maybe on the difficulty scale. Uh, as far as the time, took me about five minutes to put this together. All right, interesting discovery. Uh, every single chair has a uh, Allen key and the individual items uh, or the screws and everything else. So I guess at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm going to end up with four Allen keys that are not going to be used anymore because I got this IKEA fixer toolbox uh, screw driver thing that has the Allen key already on it. So uh, let's carry on. All right, quick update. The thing that I'm also doing uh, as I'm going along and putting all the washers and everything else, I just took all the washers and connected the bushes uh, and everything else in it uh, at the same time. This does save a little bit of a time. Uh, I don't know how rushed are you for time, but uh, for me, it's late night right now when I'm uh, recording this and making this. So I want to get it done as soon as possible. So right now I put all the washers in, uh, they're all ready to go. They're all lined up and I'm going to continue on with the, uh, the assembly. All right, now we're getting down to the very bottom uh, part of the ending of the thing. Uh, I just flipped the table upside down and I'm going to be opening up uh, the bag or the legs uh, that are of the table. Uh, fortunately, in this case, it's really easy. Uh, the screws uh, are exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about anything extra. The washers and everything else are here. And uh, let's get packing or let's get unboxing and uh, assembling. All right, similar to the, uh, what do you call uh, the chairs? I did uh, screw the, uh, or thread the screws uh, with the washers and everything. Uh, right now I'm just uh, putting the table, I had the table upside down and I did put uh, the foam material that the table came in wrapped on the bottom that way the table surface does not get scratched. And right now I'm just uh, going through and screwing this in. Uh, again, uh, hand tightening them initially and then going through uh, with uh, my screwdriver to tighten them a little bit more. I'm not gonna recommend to use any power tools because you don't want to stress any of the critical joints or you don't want to thread the screws. So here we go. And we are finally done. Uh, the table came out really good. Uh, if you see the white specks, those are just the packing material. I just need to dust it and brush it and uh, get it taken care of. But overall, this is one of the best uh, tables I've ever seen. I'll leave the description of the item uh, 
up in the description box below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. If you run across uh, any problem with the assembly or if you have any questions regarding the wood and anything else like the dimensions, please do uh, leave in the comments and I will make sure to reply back. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys and gals on the next one. Later, people.